This video will cover how to do a hypergeometric distribution table. The question comes from page 404, question 2a in your textbook, which says, suppose there's a hypergeometric distribution table we want to make, and there are n equals 6, and the a equals 3, and the r equals 3. It's pretty tricky to get all those numbers straight in your head. Well, let's start by setting up the table, and then we'll go over what those mean x and p of x. That's always what a distribution table looks like. It has x and p of x. With hypergeometric distribution, the x is the number of successful things to choose what we want, which are the a's. And there are three a's, and there are three trials. So in our three trials, when we're talking about the x, it's like how many of our three trials, how many successes could we have? Well, we could get zero of the things we want, whatever A is, that's a thing we want. We could have none of them, or we could have one of them, or we could have two of them, or we could have three of them. I left some space on purpose because I know there's going to be a lot of writing here for this geometric distribution table. Sorry, hypergeometric distribution table. All right, so what's the probability we get none of the things we're looking for. Well, hypergeometric, the formula, we write, we want of our three things we want, we're choosing none of them, times, and now we have to multiply by whatever's left over. If there are six total things, and three of them are what we want, then there are three things we don't want, and we have to choose three of those. And so that's going to be 3 choose 3. And then the total, to find the probability, we divide by the total. There are six things, and we're choosing three of them. That's what I meant by three trials. Let's move this one down. We need some more room. Let's move the one here, and the two here, and the three here. So what do you see here? You see the hypergeometric distribution formula. Let's break it down again though so you know where these numbers are coming from. Of the three things we want, choose none of them. Of the three things we don't want, choose three of them. And of the total six things, we have to choose three. These two numbers always add to n, and these two numbers always add to r. We'll calculate that in a bit. How about one of the things we want. That means of the three things we want, choose one. Of the three things we don't want, choose two. Out of the total, six things we have to choose three. How about two? That's three choose two of what we want times three choose one of what we don't want out of six choose three total. And finally, three successes. That is, we got three of the three things we want that's 3 choose 3. Let's put a line here, separate those. Times, so this is 3 choose 3 things we want, and then 3 choose none of the things we don't want, over 6 choose 3 total ways to choose. And now we just calculate the probabilities. What's 3 choose 0? That's just 1. What's 3 choose 3? That's also 1. So here you just get 1 times 1 is 1, divided by 6 choose 3, and you get 0 0.05. What's 3 choose 1? That's just 3 times 3 choose 2. That's also 3, but if you don't trust me, you can type it in. Divided by 6 choose 3, and you get 0 0.45. What's 3 choose 2? Times 3 choose 1, or 3, equals 9, divided by What's 6 choose 3, and we'll do it all at once, and we get 0 0.45 again. And it should add up to 100%, so I'm expecting that's 50, so I'm at 95. What's 3 choose 3 times 3 choose 0 divided by 6 choose 3? You get 0 0.05. And so that's how to make a hypergeometric distribution table.